You know, I'm excited to be LPing uh, Arkham Asylum. <laughs> yeah, uh, oh, wait, hmm. This oh. is odd. God damn it. <laughs> My Blargy and Snagglebeast devours your mutant swamp fly. Oh, yeah, I bet you didn't see that one coming. Hey, uh, what are you doing? Check and mate. What? Th th that's cheating! On the contrary, the rules clearly state that the Blargian Snagglebeast has an allergic reaction to swamp flies that last two turns. Ooh, it is on again! Your luck is extraordinary, sir. But, do you lose as gracefully as you will? I would not know, Maximilian. I never lose. There is a first time for everything. Agent Crank! Ah! You missed! So much for the famous secret agent! Hmm, shocking. Bring the car around, Jeeves. And mind the ejector seat this time. <laughs> uh, stay tuned for more Secret Agent Clank. That was terrific. Yeah, great. Change the channel. Uh, but the man said to stay tuned. We continue our live coverage from Velden. Just hours ago, the planet was attacked without warning by a terrifying alien race known as the Tyranoids. Officials believe that an evil robotic supervillain known as Dr. Nefarious is the mastermind behind the Tyranoid attack. As you can see, the Galactic Rangers are putting up a valiant fight, but they are no match for these tentacle-eyed terrors. Indeed, this backwater planet may be completely destroyed in a matter of hours. Darla Gratch, Channel 64 News. We're going home. But Velden is in a Solana galaxy. Oh no, not the gravimetric warp drive. The untested gravimetric warp drive. The one you built from bloggy and scrap metal. Coming, we are doomed. You were saying? I stand corrected. I just hope we're not too late. So, yeah, we're fucking doing this, finally. Welcome to Up Your Arsenal. Yeah. Friggin' finishing off Space Cat. Yup, it's also the best PlayStation 2 Ratchet and Clank game. So immediately, Greetings, client 91802. I go into the controls because the cameras are bad. <laughs> Why would you still reverse camera controls? God damn it. Also, also you want to turn on, uh, Strafing controls, because strafing controls are actually really good, because the game is based around basically being a third-person shooter rather than a platformer now. There's still platforming elements, but it's really taken a backseat to third-person shooting. These must be the Galactic Rangers. Hey, look! It's a new sergeant! Huh? Hey, Sarge, you can have my gun. There's too many of them! We're all gonna die! So, uh, another thing you'll notice is that I'm not turning off the help desk lady, because the help desk lady actually tells you what you get when you upgrade your weapons, because when you upgrade your weapons, you get certain upgrade, like, you get certain things added to them, like lock-on. You get good things, and they don't become terrible. Am I glad to see you, Sarge? We're pinned down by that enemy vehicle. Somebody's gotta take it out. Let me guess, that somebody is me. We got a volunteer! Here, Sarge, take this! We'll cover you! From back there! Uh, they're literally throwing guns at you. Yeah. yeah, no, this is the first two guns you get, and they're free, and all the other guns you need to buy. And... 
if I remember correctly, I haven't played this game in about a year. If I remember correctly, most of the weapons are pretty good, with the exception of like two or three of them. Well, there are no downgrades when you get that level five weapon anymore. So yeah, that's yeah. nice. Um, that's that's another change that this game got from the previous game is that in the previous game weapons could only be upgraded once. Uh, in this game, each weapon has five levels in it, and unlike the last game, there's no lava gun situation. Yeah. So another uh, sort of interesting fact is the Galactic Rangers originally they just had uh, generic robot voices with no emotion. But there was actually an uh, in-studio petition to change that to the current voices we have. Oh. Somebody's been doing his reading, because <laughs> he was the one of the few people who knew that we weren't actually going to be doing Batman. Oh, yes, as one of the people commenting over the videos with you, I would know yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> also one of the few people who is as big or bigger of a nerd for Ratchet and Clank than you, Kalon. <laughs> so yeah, the the enemies in this game are also all really fucking good. Um, the Tyranoids are... Their strength is based on how many eyeballs they have. <laughs> you'll see like little one eyeball guys running around, they're weak as hell, and then you'll see like Four eyeball guys running around. They are tough as shit. Yeah, the Tyranoids are great and they will be around the whole game in yeah. various forms. Great smashing oh, this, action. This game is also the best because in, it introduces a certain character. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and yeah, this is Ratchet's home. It's the same Captain Cork poster and everything. Yay, Captain Quark. What's the situation? The Noids have fallen back to a base in F-Sector. We have orders to go in and take him out, F-Sector. No way. Game over, man. We're all gonna end up as scrap metal. Get back in there, Trooper. We've got a planet to save. Sir, yes, sir. So, Ape, uh, remember the very first LP we did? Yeah. Remember our good friends, the Slow Missiles? <laughs> yeah, I remember Slow Missiles. Guess what? Slow Missiles, yay! Slow Missiles are back! Well, to be more accurate, Slow Missiles are introduced. <laughs> Speaking of coming full cycle... <laughs> uh, I won't even lie and say that this might be the last Ratchet and Clank LP because the new one looks really fucking good and I am probably going to LP it because I have a problem. Please send me help. Even after that, Kalon is not necessarily going to be playing the games, but will still be involved in the LPs. Yeah. Because, yeah, fans of the series know there are a few bad games not developed by Insomniac, but are still called Ratchet. I'm going to be doing those, eventually. <laughs> oh. I'm looking forward to them. It can't be any fucking worse than Watch Dogs, <laughs> goddammit. <laughs> you cannot possibly p punish me harder than you have already. Well... Oh, that sounds like a challenge. <laughs> oh, it's a double LP, size matters in Secret Agent Clank. <laughs> I would still rather do that than watch dogs again. I uh, also race combat assault horizon and <laughs> just really be my every bad game I know. Oh yeah, um I have a fun story about this game. First of all, uh I kept chucking bombs into the void there by being trying to be sneaky. Um Soldier, is is that secret agent Clank? Greetings, sir. We are here to help. Well, this is an honor, and I see you brought your chauffeur along. What? No, no. Hold on a second, sir. Agent Clank, we must stop Doctor Nefarious. 
As you may know, only one man has ever faced him and survived. I've just received a top secret report on that man's whereabouts. Here, take a look. On tonight's episode of Nature's Mysteries, we examine the Florana tree beast. Deep in the dense growth of Florana's Jambu forest lives a mysterious creature. Or maybe he doesn't. It's one of nature's mysteries. I've seen him run right through our camping site. He was buck naked, screaming and holding a banana. Or, or maybe it weren't a banana. It could be one of nature's mysteries. Legend tells that this mysterious creature is actually one of the greatest superheroes who ever lived. Shamed by his recent past, he is now one of nature's mysteries. Tune in and find out the answers. We need you to find this man. The fate of the galaxy may depend on it. Are you sure this is the guy you're looking for, Mr. President? Yeah, he seems like kind of a, you know, wacko. You may be right, but he's the best chance we've got. I know you boys won't let me down. You can count on us, sir. So yeah, because the intro level is pathetically short, we're doing the first real level as well. And I think this is one of the few levels where the tear noise don't show up. Anyway, new weapon. We have a whip. It's the one good whip weapon in the COEs. Yeah. It's like the wrench, only it has a way better range and can also level up. And it's way fucking cooler. Yeah. It's a whip made of fucking fire. That plasma. Plasma is not fire. To change to a different fire contains plasma, good enough. Then enter the or can contain plasma. Mm. So there are a multitude of new crates in this game that actually don't show up in later games. First off is the jackpot crate, which multiplies all of your experience and bolts by two. This includes challenge mode where you, they will multiply whatever your current multiplier is by two. So if you have a times 20 multiplier, get a jackpot crate, you'll have times 40 bolts coming your way. Mm -hmm. Nice. Then there's these dudes. Uh, uh, this dude right here, Swamp Guy. I don't know <laughs> why he died in one hit. Usually it takes two. Somehow I managed to shoot him just right that he died in one. You got him just like right in the face. He's like, well, fuck this. Fuck it. <laughs> nah, no, I don't need this. No. I'm going back in the swamp. Uh, I just fucking woke up and you're already throwing bombs at me. Fuck it. I'm going back to bed. I don't need this shit. I'm calling out of work today. <laughs> That'd be a valid reason to call into work. I can't come into work today. I get hit by a bomb. A little cat will bomb at me. Press <laughs> X. Uh, there's some hidden crates back here. At first, I thought it was something way cooler, and I was like, oh. And by way cooler, do you mean a golden bolt? And by way cooler, do you mean you're lying? There are no such things as gold bolts oh, in this game. Oh, fucking platinum, titanium, whatever the fuck. There we go, yes, titanium. This game has titanium bolts, thank you very much. It's the same fucking thing. It's the same fucking <laughs> bolts. Well, technically no, but technically Shut yes. Up. Yeah, um, so there are titanium bolts in this game, and, like... All the other PlayStation 2 games, there's 40 of them scattered throughout the game. And their rewards are they unlock skins. You can use them to buy certain skins. It's not even super cool like they had in the last <laughs> game where you could use it to buy weapon upgrades. No, it's just like, well, do you want Ratchet to be a sumo wrestler? Would you like Ratchet to be a snowman? If so... 
I don't think Snowman is in this game. I think I think they got rid of Snowman for this one, unfortunately. Do you want to be ratchet that one guy who died? His <laughs> name is that's Dan of Dan Dan something. Green wood. <laughs> Sounds about right. Anyway, speaking of which, uh, first one up here. It's sneaky because you would just want to keep going forward, but backtrack just like three steps. And yeah, there you go. I've seen sneakier. Titanium would make a terrible bolt, though. Yeah, so far the best one would be uh, platinum. Platinum would be really damn heavy, though. Yeah. I forget, does Platinum corrode? Uh, I don't think so. Hmm. I don't think it does. Yeah, I think it's still a pretty soft metal, though. Not as soft as gold or lead, but still... You know, not... Anyway, this is the Inferno Crate. The Inferno Crate allows you to dual-wield wrenches and get a really cool armor, which makes you invincible, and also everything you hit, and it's all one-hit kills. It gives you the... Friggin' deadlocked armor, apparently. It's really shitty him to... <laughs> Those crates are dumb. I like it. I like them. dumb. Get out of here. <laughs> but no, that, that one board is evil because it's hidden underneath an area you've already walked over, so that's gonna fuck up your map mapper. Or... Yep. Oh, the, yeah, the, yeah. The, the, the secret mapper. Secret mapper. Anyway, you also want to go map, over map. here... <laughs> You also want to go over here and go <laughs> around, because there's really something fucking sneaky. Just jump on the fucking geometry that doesn't look like it should hold you. Yeah. Uh, in this game, you can find character trophies and also earn trophies for doing other things, and unlocking all of the trophies gives you access to the Insomniac Museum. Proto achievements. Hmm. Yep. Uh, I will be going through... And getting all of the trophy character trophies, and I have a save file that already has all of the trophies in it. Well, it's one of the ways to get to the Insomniac Museum. Yeah. I just want to say real quick, this entire level is just a huge ripoff of the Wookiee planet. <laughs> yeah. No, where's Lumpy and Itchy? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, have a fuck. Okay, so speaking of uh, skill points, oh, there's only one in this level that I haven't even gotten able to get. Uh, I haven't even gotten able yet. to. Yes. Okay, yes. Jeez. Hey, read more obviously from your piece of paper. <laughs> no, no, it's like I haven't, I haven't gotten to the point where I can earn the thing yet, so I'm not even gonna bother talking about yeah, it. Sure. It's coming up soon. <laughs> uh, Ratchet, we have company. Where? Behind you. Where? Behind you. Very funny. You having a good time? <laughs> you trespass on sacred ground. <laughs> now you walk path of death. But, sir. Path of so this is the path of death it's a platforming challenge and the skill point that you can get in this level is to go through the whole thing without taking any damage I obviously do not earn it because you're terrible yeah to be fair this can be a bit tricky, because these rocks are randomized, and so if you accidentally walk under one... Well, fuck you. Yeah, no, I know a pain of randomized rocks. Drive two. And then the other titanium bolt in this level is right over there. <laughs> it is this, like the octopus saw it, obscured by the camera. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> No one would ever think to look to their right. Oh, that one guy's cheering for you. That's very nice. No, I think they're all hoping that I fall to my death. Well, fuck them. I mean, it's kind of hard to tell because none of them speak space English. 
Just call it common. It's fucking. <laughs> Take the lazy no. sci-fi route. No, it's space English. S no. Space English. It's good to say that. Oh yeah, that's right. The um, the shock blaster leveled up, and the shock blaster can now charge up its shots and deal extra damage. It actually does not take any extra ammo to charge up your shots, which is nice. Yeah. Quite a freaking weird the system is where the weapon's properties will change on minor levels. And I accidentally got nicked by the fire, so fuck it. So that's not really something they've done since. Yeah. We're just, oh, you're level 3, you have lock on now. Not me. Okay, we walked your path of death. Now, tell us what you know about Dr. Nefarious. Who? Huh? Dr. Nefarious! They say you're the only man to ever beat him. Who? Huh? Jeez. This guy's even dumber than Captain Quark? Yeah. <laughs> Captain Quark! <laughs> That's it, Quark. You've had this coming for a long time. So we finally get to beat the shit out of Captain Quark <laughs> after two games of him being complete shit heel to us. God damn. This is very satisfying. <laughs> he mostly hangs back and throws his stupid boomerang and calls in reinforcements. So it's pretty easy to, uh, to beat him. I think if you get close to him, he'll uh, try to punch you or yeah. hit you with the uh, boomerang. Yeah. But I don't like getting close to him because, There's no you reason know, to. that's dumb. Yeah. <laughs> so, Quark has completely lost his mind. Now what? Just keep the mask on. He thinks you are his new leader. Great. <laughs> Incoming call. This is Captain Sasha of the Starship Phoenix. The president has asked me to assist you. Uh, hi. I see you have located Captain Quark. Yeah, we got him, but, uh, well, he thinks he's a monkey. Of course. <laughs> Bring him to the Phoenix, and we'll see what we can do. Sasha, out. Look at that, Clank. This ship is amazing. Welcome aboard the Phoenix, gentlemen. Whoa. Impressive, isn't she? The Phoenix is the pride of the galactic fleet. She's equipped with the latest technology. Holodeck training suites, auto vendors for armor and weapons, virtual firing range, starfighter upgrade system, even a Gadgetron VG-9000 game system. A VG-9000? Of course. With a Mavix Fireball Pro Controller, VR headset, and a Zero-G Dance Pad attachment. Will you marry me? Well, you've obviously had an exhausting trip. Uh, why don't you stop by your quarters? We prepared a custom living area for Quark, so he won't get in your way. Come meet me on the bridge when you're ready. To view the world map. I mean, it's not a big ship, so. <laughs> yeah, uh, because of the way the fight ended with Captain Quark, my Golden. bomb gun upgraded itself. <laughs> this is our Gadgetron weapons vendor. Yeah, we know what it is, damn it. Weapons in a VR simulation before you buy them. So in the Starship, you can actually test out the weapons before you buy them, and also, uh, because it's been <laughs> two years. And we have a Ratchet and Clank 1 save file that has unlocked that 
benefit, uh, we get a 10% discount on all weapons. I forgot about that. Yeah, the employee discount finally came through. Yeah, it's been two years. Oh, yeah, I would assume you mentioned that later, so. Yeah. Probably. The imported weapons sort of different. Yep. Alright, so here's our quarters. It's a huge place. I don't know why we need quarters this big. How do you think he got like this? Well, the life of an intergalactic superhero can be very stressful. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, you're telling me this nutcase is our only hope for stopping Nefarious? <laughs> We're hosed. I think Crunch's approval ratings were this higher is than the Quark's. The 9000 game system. If you have a vid comic, you could play it here. Yeah, so eventually we'll get little playable vid comics, and they play way different from the regular right. game. Maybe it's the they're pretty fun. Yeah, and this is the Phoenix VR deck. Here you can train in combat simulations or practice using your gadgets. This. Yeah, I'm just showing the ship off here. Through here is where we would find all our trophies, but we only have the one right now. Looks really empty. Yep. It is displayed here. So yeah, half the trophies you just find laying around in the levels, and the other half you have to unlock by doing certain things. Yeah, like and getting max health or getting all the skill points. That closed door would go to the museum. Why is there so much space on this ship? Yeah. Well, it's the pride of the uh, galactic fed whatever. Yeah. You would think that they would be using this space a little more responsibly, though. Yeah. <laughs> I will just give you, like, um, 500 square feet for one dude. <laughs> it's a guest room. Oh, well, it's nice. You got, like, a full apartment set up in there. Meanwhile, all the, like, the robots have just, like, a little square they have to scrunch themselves into. <laughs> well, the robots, who cares? Speaking of wasted space, though. Robots are people, damn it. We bought some armor. It reduces damage by 33%. Well, watch out, virtually not people. That's the point. <laughs> We're losing the signal. Try boosting the power. Isn't that the president? They came out of nowhere. Tyrannoid invasion force. Presidential compound has been breached. Cannot hold out much longer here. Mr. President. Dad! Are you there? Dad? Robotic citizens of the Solana Galaxy. The hour of your liberation is at hand. Too long have we robots suffered under the bigotry, the stupidity, the squishiness and foul stench of organic life forms. Soon, all robots will bask in the liberty and equality of my benevolent, iron-fisted rule. And, as for you filthy organic life forms, you can look forward to being disintegrated! <laughs> That's all for now. Plot a course from Arcadia. Maximum speed. Prepare the dropship for planetary assault. We're going in. We'll see you on Arcadia. Anyway, Dr. Nefarious makes his debut in this game, and it's the best. Yeah, because he is the best. <laughs> yeah. That's good. your current missions, select the missions menu from the pause screen. There's also another really good-ass character in this game that I wish would come back, but she probably will not. Okay. Anyway, because uh, there's a titanium bolt to be had for completing all the VR missions, I'm going to do that, but because VR missions are basically just arenas and really boring arenas after that, as that, 
Yeah, these were more instead of arenas in the game. There's a different set of arenas. Andrew WK is always good. Yeah. It's really not I found it appropriate to put Get Ready to Die over this. Oh, jeez. I remember <laughs> this song now. I bet I know where you know it from, though. Go on. <laughs> that horrible pony video. Nope. Nope. Well, I'm not going to explain it. Good. I know it from Dex's death reel in of his Super Mario 3D World LP. That was a good-ass video. <laughs> a good-ass video. But yeah, this game fucking loves arenas. There's like three or four arenas in this game. Annihilation Nation is a huge fucking thing in this game. Annihilation Nation is huge and fun. I love Annihilation Nation. For the most part. Yeah, there are a couple of them that are pretty bleh. I forget. Do you earn XP or not from doing the VR? You do, actually. Uh, My whip is now level 2. Oddly enough, the whip does not have a... It leveled up animation for some reason. (laughs) I'm not sure why. Like, both level 2 and 3 have not gone, Hey, you leveled up. Yeah, check your ship customization. Yeah, so I'm going to show off what the ship customization is like right now. There will be a couple more colors. Purple. Go for Uh, purple. Do it, do it, do it. Purple. (laughs) Yeah. Don't influence the vote, Ape, but yes. No, purple's white choice. Go purple. Purple is the best color. Yeah, Scoop Nose. That's the thing I ran with the whole game. Split Nose um, and Standard Nose. Uh, The... Changes will go into effect as of video five. <laughs> I've recorded, I recorded the first four ahead of time, just so I had a nice backlog. All right, we're off. Make sure to feed and water Quark. We're out, and uh, make sure you take him on walks. And if he does his business, pick it up. Be sure to change the litter every once in a while. <laughs>